Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're checking out how you can have a custom car on your 5M server, which comes with either like a .meta file with a vehicle .meta, handling .meta, car variations .meta. One of these, we're going to check out how you can set this up on your server. Last week we went over how you can get custom cars without these files, and this week we're going over how you can get custom cars with these files. It's a little bit more complicated to get these in the game, but it will still take about the same amount of time as you would just dragging and dropping the other files like we did last week. So we're just going to get straight into it. It. The things you're going to need is you're going to need a car which comes with these files. You're going to need your server already set up. If you don't have a server set up, you can go back to last week's video on how to set up a 5M and 5PD server. This works on both 5PD and non-5PD. It doesn't matter because it just uses the default 5M uh, setup for installing cars and stuff. The pack we are using, or the car I am installing, is from a paid pack um, from Redneck uh, Modifications. Um, I will leave the link to the Discord down in the description. Of course, this this same method works for any car pack that comes with the .meta files or anything. I'm just using his as an example because he offered to let me use it in return for putting the link in the description. So thank you for the opportunity to do that. Amazing car packs from him. I highly recommend them if you are in the if you have the budget to get some cool cars. Anyway, we're gonna go straight into it. So the thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go into our resource folder, which we have set up here. You can see in the last video we have our custom cars folder where we we just put the default like police replacements with no dot meta files or anything we're going to go ahead and right click we're going to create a new folder and we can name this like whatever our car is so in this case i'm just going to name it car one to keep it very easy on us and stuff then you're just going to go into this file and what you're going to do in here is you're going to create two new folders one is going to be called data the other one is going to be called stream just like that inside the stream folder you want to put your uh car files so you can see here's the default car file the red and blue lights instead of just full blue lights, I'm going to put these in here. That's all you need to do in here. You don't need this um, your car files anymore. And the next thing you're going to need is your .meta files or meta files or whatever. You go into the data folder and you're going to drag all of these in here. And depending on if you're using the pack I'm using, you can see we have two variations for lights. And you can just drag that in there as well, whatever you want. You don't need this anymore. That's all you have to do, just drag it in. But now this is where the difficult part comes, is where you actually have to create the resource file to say where all the files are. Are, but I'm going to step you through it so it's a little easier. You're going to right click, you're going to go new, go to text document, name it underscore underscore resource, and then get rid of the dot text and make it dot lum. Now, it will say if you want to change it, just go ahead and click yes. If you don't aren't able to switch it from the dot text file, all you have to do is click this little down arrow, go to view, make sure you have file name extensions on, and you'll be able to change it. It's that easy. Now, inside this file, you're going to edit it. You can open it with Notepad or Notepad++. I recommend using Notepad++. It's just so much easier to use and everything else with um, editing files. So I highly recommend you download that and it will really make your job a lot easier. Just a quick note in editing. I just want to say I'm going to butcher a lot of the names of the files and stuff. I was super tired because I was up most of the night before this doing homework and stuff. So I was exhausted. I apologize for that. Back to the video. So in here, there's two things we're going to have to do. We're going to have to define where the files are and define what they are. So we're going to start off by creating files, just like this. Put a curly bracket and then down. You can see that's all we have to do. Then we're going to put a, um, whatever this is, parentheses, not parentheses, um, colon thing, whatever. And then you're going to type data slash vehicles dot meta. And make sure you spell vehicles right. Because clearly I did not. I don't know what I'm doing today. Uh, I can't spell. There we go. Vehicles.meta. And then you're going to do another one of those and a comma, just like that. You're going to do it again. And this time it's going to be data slash car, uh, the car colos.meta or whatever. I can't speak today. Um, very tired. It's, it's very tired morning. Um, so you're going to create both of these. And you're going to do this for every single file you have in that data folder. Um, and that's what we're just going to do. And we're going to use these again below. And make sure you put a comma on each line when you go down. Otherwise, it's going to error. And then finally, we're going to do the handling dot meta. Um, can't spell today. There we go. And then you can just leave it at this. Then below this curly bracket, you're going to do data underscore file. Then you're going to define what it is. For our handling, you always want to put handling first or it can cause a 5M to crash for some reason. Don't ask me why. So we're going to do handling underscore file, all in caps. And then you're going to say, oh yeah, and then data slash, or you can just literally copy it from what we already wrote right here, just like that. 
and then you just leave it like that. Go to the next line, do the exact same thing, but for the next one. Data file, and then this one is um, vehicle underscore metadata underscore file. Just like that, and you're just going to take the vehicles.meta file and put it right after that as well. You don't need the comma. I'm going to get rid of all these com uh, comments and stuff that people are saying. Thank you for all the support, by the way. Glad to help you out. And then you're going to do, if you have the custom light file, you're going to do uh, car colis underscore file or whatever. I can't speak today. And then you're going to do the same thing. Part, um, put where the file actually is. Make sure there's no comma. Data underscore file once more for the final uh, vehicle variation file. And that will be vehicle underscore variation underscore file. And then that will be going to the uh, car variations file just like that make sure there's no comma then just save that's all you have to do that's all we have to do in here um if one of this doesn't work or something in here doesn't work go on discord or go on to the 5m forums and just ask a question i'm happy to help you um if it's if you have any questions just let me know in the comments as well so that's all you have to do in here then you can close this and then you're going to go over to your resources server data folder go over to the server.cfg Edit, and then add ensure or start, depending on your operating system, the custom car name. We named it car1, and you can see car1 is in here. Now, what I want to note is you'll have to do this for every single one of the custom cars you want to put in, which has a custom handling line. They all have to be in their own folder. The reason for this is because if you put them all together, well, the handling is going to be messed up and all the lights won't work and stuff. So just be a note of that. All right, let's go ahead and start up our server and we'll join and see if we can spawn in our car. Now, in order to spawn in a car with a custom name, this one is called 18 Tahoe, you're going to need some type of trainer or some type of um, spawning thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's, it's literally a trainer. So in order to install a trainer, I will be doing a video later this week on that, on how you can do that. But if you already have a trainer installed and your server's like, it won't open on your server, all you have to go is into your server data folder, your server.cfg, go press edit again, scroll down and make sure sv underscore script hook allowed is set to one rather than zero and your trainers will work again. Um, I wouldn't advise doing those on um, main, uh, like, production servers because a lot of users can just glitch with that unless you're whitelisted and you trust the users um i would advise against doing that if you're on a public server but anyway um we're just gonna load in here and see if this works and then i'll be done with the video so of course make sure to subscribe like and comment if you have any questions about any of this and i would be happy to answer them below um very thank you to the support we've gotten over the last few weeks in terms of all the videos on the channel it's been absolutely amazing thank you so much for the support we are so close we probably have hit a thousand subscribers either today or tomorrow which is going to be insane we've we've been working up to this point with over 400 videos and we're almost we're six away from 450 videos on the channel and that would be daily uploading for about almost six months i believe so that's absolutely insane thank you so much for the support it means a lot i'm just taking the time to say this while i load into the game because it's taking a little while so if we remember our server and our car name is going to be 16 tahoe i believe uh 18 tahoe so we just have to remember that so we can spawn it in game so here we go we are actually loading in now um go ahead and open this uh, F3 menu once we log in. Just give it a second. For some reason, I have a 1,000 FPS and a black screen. That's fun. Um, let's just wait till we load in. Come on, game. You can do this. Don't crash, 5M. There we go. So you can see my F3 menu open when I press F3. You may have an F1 menu, an F3 menu, something like that. I don't know. Um, so anyway, you're going to go to your F3 menu or whatever menu you use, and you're going to go to Spawn Vehicle by Model Name. And I'm going to do Tahoe. 18 Tahoe. Just press enter and you can see my custom car or custom pack uh, car thing has been installed successfully and I can drive. And it does have a custom handling line, which means it's going to handle a little differently than if you were to drive a default GTA car. And it actually works a little better than the default GTA cars in terms of handling and stuff. Um, because it just, it just does. It works a little better. Um, those custom light uh, settings and everything are the dot meta files what they do is they handle like the car variation so if you go to vehicle options and go down to like vehicle components menu i can add like different light bars or different extra lights under lights uh antennas 
whatever you want to this car um so you can add like a ram bar and stuff that handles all those options and the different light tones and everything on the car um so that's pretty much what that does and it's pretty useful for if you want to do like different patrols with different color uh with different types of cars so you could turn this into like an undercover car by getting rid of the light bar and using just the under hood lights or under visor lights um so you have the option to do all of that um with big car packs and stuff. So the link to this car pack uh, or the description will be in the description for you to go to get this car pack if you want it. There, it comes with like 10, 15 cars, I think. It comes with a huge amount of cars, um, but it does cost some money. Um, but of course, if you don't want to spend money on this, you don't have to. There's plenty of free car packs online. Make sure your cars are non-ELS vehicles. Otherwise, they won't work on 5M because 5M does not support ELS. If you want to learn how you can get your lights on without turning on your siren and stuff, go check out our video on how to install Luxart Vehicle Control, which happened last week. And it will explain how to do that and uh, toggle the siren controls and everything to your liking and all of that. But anyway, this is how you install it. Hopefully, this helps out the people who are asking how to use .metafiles and stuff. Very, very happy to help you out. Thank you so much for suggesting the video. We'll be back with more 5PD, 5M content starting on, I believe it will be Wednesday when the video releases. Yes, it will, because this releases on Monday. So we'll be back to 5PD and 5M content on Wednesday. Uh, thank you for sticking around, and I will see you then. So enjoy your custom cars and your custom handling and whatever else you're working on, and enjoy the rest of your day. See you next time.